Now, this is the fly I'm going to be tying. This fly is called the Red Clock or Pheasant. It's named after, obviously, the, the hackle that's used in this fly is from the neck of a ring neck pheasant, a cockbird. It's a nice natural brown, as you can see, the ready brown. If you haven't got that feather, then you just use a, a natural brown hen and it will you'll catch fish just the same. But it's a very good tackle. If you can get these, then you, you get that nice, sparse, like, look like there you get beautiful yeah, wee fly. Uh, now the thread I'm using is a gossamer thread in orange. This is a proper silk. You've got you've got to wax it, just be basically a clear wax, so run it through the ones. Run your fingers through it to take away the excess. Now I'm going to start at a good sort of three to four mil from the eye. Just work my way down, remove the waste. Wind to just short of the, the bar by the hook and then we start to come back up. Now the hook I'm using, this is a full mill hook, it's an all-purpose medium. This is a size 14. 14 and 12 is the two main sizes I would tie in this fly. But you could tie whatever size you want. Peacock curl, normal pip, tie it in by the tip. Couple of turns. You wind behind the hackle and in front of the hackle with the hair rope. Just run your thread through it and back. That will protect it. Break it, break it off, sorry, and just broke short, so we trim it away. Here, sell your hackle. This is from the neck of the feather, uh, the ring neck pheasant, the cock bird, as I say. Just bear away what you don't need. We tie it in by the tip, so what I'm going to do is get my hackle pliers. I've got a very small pair of hackle pliers. This is what I use when I'm winding these small hackles. But to locate the tip, what you do is put the tip of the hackle pliers in, pull back the fibres. There we are. Just hold it there and then draw this back. And then what I'm going to do is trim maybe about a mill or so from there just to tie this in. So three turns or so. Get your hackle pliers. So see these are nice and light. Just draw back the fibres. You want to basically tie one, wind it one turn in front of the other. Don't be shy with this, you can put two or three turns in, it's quite a big fly. When you're happy, just follow it up with the thread. These ends, I'm just going to draw away these long fibres, I don't want them. There's a couple of broken ones here. Now, a couple of turns will hold that, especially with a wax silk, that will plenty of grip. Let's try to cut away the stem. This broken end here, I'm just going to trim that away. Looks so, alright, get another peacock curl. Trim the end. Single turn over, pull it in. Just make sure there's wax on your thread at this point. Then wind the hackle, or wind the hero, sorry. It's in front of the hackle. Just draw it back to catch it. I like to just fold it back and then come in with a finish. Go one, just stroke it back. Two, three is plenty. Two would do it, but I'll put an extra one in. And then be a nail on the side of the eye, the side of the hook or the eye the hook, and then just slowly tighten up the silk, the thread, and then trim that away. Break that off. Just to twist out the fibres. Uh, then the wax is good enough to hold, but just a wee touch of varnish just there. That there will lock lock in your whip finish. And there we are. And that's the fly they call the red clock, or a pheasant. Nice little pattern, nice style. Uh, I've fished these flies many times over the years. They're a delicate wee fly, but you'd be surprised how robust they are. They're really the last good few fish before they start to show signs of wear, but they're fine at that, so I hope you enjoyed that.